Now this is Daddy. this is just. <laughs> <laughs> Noelle's here with us too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our family vlog channel. This is Isaac. I'm Austin. And Hannah. And today we're unboxing the school books for this upcoming school year here at Connections Academy. This is an informal video. There's nothing fancy at all. So you can see we're just sitting in a chair. Now, yeah. Mom, you can take this one over. Thank you, Isaac. Before they get started on their unboxing, we're just going to do a quick Q&A. We did find that a lot of people watching the video had some questions about sort of what the year was like last year. It was our first year at Connections Academy. So we're just going to answer a few of those questions. We have Stan who's asking, is math Common Core? Now, Connections Academy does tell us that Common Core is their base for their curriculum, but they do go above and beyond Common Core. So uh, here in Ohio, Common Core is the minimum requirement that schools have to meet. So Connections Academy makes sure that they meet the Common Core requirements and then they go above and beyond. But with the curriculum that Connections Academy offers, you are able to customize it and go even further above and beyond if you so choose. So that's one nice thing about the Connections Academy curriculum. We have Nisha who's asking, do high schoolers get all the same items? So I'm guessing that she's asking, do they get the box of books? Do they have the opportunity for a laptop or a desktop? That type of thing. I At would Connections think so. Academy, I you do get a box of books and supplies that's specific for your um, grade that you're going into, also specific for your state. So the box is going to be customized for your student, and then the option for a laptop or computer is also specific to your state. Our kids. Two of them have a desktop computer, one has a laptop. Um, you, are, you do have the option to use your own computer. If you have one, then you just let the school know that you don't need a computer. All right, next, Mom. Uh, Nikki wants to know, is there a fee per child to go to the school? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. No. Connections Academy is set up in the United States as a public school, so it follows all of the government funding that a typical public school would receive. Um, so it does not fall under the private school um, fee for tuition type scenario. But I have heard that there's an international version that's private school. Don't really know much about that. Um, but I do know that in the States, it's public school. Next. Next question is from Summer. She says, I have a kindergartner a first grader and an eighth grader and we are looking at Connections Academy. What did you think about it? Okay, so last year it was quite fun because we had just a couple meetups though I wish we had more. I was in seventh grade by the way. Um, we had just a couple meetups where grades kindergarten all the way up um, it, were, it was like a big play area, I guess, and they had little course. games, and you can play. So, like, beanbag toss was one of them. Yeah. So, Hannah, first grader. You were a first grader last year. Yeah. Was it fun? Now I'm in second grade, and it was a lot of fun last year, like, talking to my teacher and everything. Mm -hmm. the, on the phone conversations yeah. with your teacher? Yeah, I mean, I can't say any fails. You get Thanks. one of those Just every fun. month. You get one of those every month mm -hmm. where they'll just come in and check on you, see if you have any questions. Yeah. So. So, uh, so at Connections Academy, there's a monthly call with your teacher. So that's what Hannah's talking about. She always liked when she had her monthly call with her teacher. Um, and that's just where the teacher sort of touches base with you if you uh, have any, have any um, questions over the curriculum that type of thing, sort of an overall. Now you can reach out to your teacher any day of the week, it's no problem, it's just there's a minimum requirement to be in touch with your teacher once a month. So that's what Hannah's referencing, the, her monthly call with her teacher. Um, Austin, he was mentioning the meetups. At Connections Academy here in Ohio, they have, a, um, they have statewide gatherings and we had two throughout the year that were in our area so we went to those and those are for grades K through 12 Everybody goes to the same location. You sign up based on where you live. And they were at the park, um, and they were, you know, during the regular school day, and they would get together and do sports activities, or maybe they'd go for a scavenger hunt on the trails in the park, that type of thing. So Austin tend to, 
to really enjoy those gatherings. Um, the school doesn't have um, as many gatherings as the private gatherings. So um, here in Ohio, we have a Facebook page where parents can connect and they can do, you know, if two or three families want to get together, have a meeting, you can do that as well. So, but the two Austin was talking about are set up by OCA, Ohio Connections Academy. Okay. Isaac, did you have anything else you wanted to say? Um. What you enjoyed about the year? Uh, yeah, I did it. I did enjoy the year. Um, I mean, we had kind of the same thing. So the meetups, the live lessons, which were um, over over the internet, you can talk to your teacher. It's really cool. Sometimes she'll uh, put a webcam and you can see her too. Oh, that the didn't, teacher. That the didn't teacher. happen too often though. I, I wish she did that more often. Anyway. Yeah, I think it's only for certain groups because I don't think she ever did that on mine. Okay. All right. well, let's move on to the next one. All right, let's go with Paloma. This will be our last question, by the way. Last question. Okay. Last question, Paloma. She says, are y'all going to do an unboxing this year? <laughs> Who does that make you think of? We have cousins down in Tennessee, so they talk the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes me think of Cody. Yeah, Cody. yeah. They have a few cousins that live in Tennessee, and they have a strong southern accent, and we have a lot of fun with them, don't we? Yeah. All right, so she wants to know, are we going to do an unboxing? Well, here you go. Right We're here, doing. unboxing. Yeah. Since I'm the youngest, I get to go first, and I'm in second grade. All right, go ahead and do this one. All right. This one is just a welcome message. Or, mm -hmm. This is a headset, and you get to talk to your teachers on live lessons. Okay. All right. This is a handwriting. For me, it's kind of like math. Handwriting's so. like math? Well, it's kind of hard, like, to draw right on the exact lines. I think so. There. <laughs> okay. What do you notice about your handwriting for this year? Cursive. Cursive. Hannah's been worried about cursive. She thinks it's going to be hard. Yes, and I am really glad I get to learn cursive here. Yes, and we've been told by a couple of people that uh, public schools are doing away with cursive handwriting, so it's nice to see that they're still teaching cursive handwriting at Connections Academy. This just made my day. <laughs> you got a couple books. What are these yep. books? This is Amelia Bedelia and the Cat. Here. There. Got some, some pictures. pictures. Yep. Yeah. So it is. This one has also some pictures. What's it called? Frog and Toad? Uh, yeah, I forgot to say it. I forgot it. Frog and Toad are friends. Yeah. Frog and Toad are friends. Okay. Oh! Do you remember these books? Yep. Okay. This what are these called? It's uh, reading, reading Street. Reading Street. So this is more yep. reading. Uh-huh. Can you get it? Air. Okay. It has lots and lots of pictures. So we remember from last year there's short stories in here, and then they have kind of questions and answers to make sure that you understand. Yeah. You're reading as you go, then it also, this is where they learn their grammar. Remember all the papers you have to write at oh, the end of each story? Yeah. All right, so that's, Reading Street. Uh, and that's kind of confusing. Like, uh,. How am I going to do this here? Okay, last part of the reading. Um, this is practice book. Mm-hmm. This uh, is your practice books? Yeah. They tie into the stories from Reading Street textbooks. So the textbooks yeah. we just showed you, these are the practice workbooks to co correspond with those stories and the grammar. And this one is grade 2.1 and the other one is grade 2.1. 2.1 2. and 2.2 2 just separates. 2.1 2. yeah. is the first half of the year. 2.2 2 is the second half of the year. Mm -hmm. These so, are, do you remember what these are? Like letter like, tiles. That's uh, for your spelling. Oh. Okay. These are the learning coach language arts books just to help in guiding the lessons. 
Mm -hmm. And it's here. There is a grammar and writing practice book. Mm -hmm. Up here it says Reading Street. And there it some here you just like have to answer questions. Like last year they wanted me to rhyme. So it does that kind of stuff. Okay. What's this one? This is uh, what's that phonics. Again? Yeah, phonics. phonics and spelling practice book. This is pretty much the same one. Mm -hmm. And you can use your letter tiles to help you with your spelling. Yep. Practice for your spelling tests, right? Yep. That's right. Okay. Social studies, this is the learning coach book again. All the learning coach books are this paper book. Yep. Um, they're pretty, they're like bullet points, outlines, no pictures or anything, just the bullet point outline for the lesson. This is a workbook, social studies. It's one of those answering question ones. Mm -hmm. Pretty much a lot of these for me is them. This is another social studies. This is the social studies textbook. Yep. And this, um, that's what it looks like inside, yeah, right? This yeah. set has Cesar Chavez. Yep. It. The last year, it told me a lot, a a lot of presidents. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how uh, I learned my presidents. Okay. Here we're going to start with your science. All this right. is again the learning coach science book. It's just bullet point inside. Right. This is science, a closer look reading and writing workbook. So it's another thing you have to answer the questions here. Okay. Right. This one is science, a closer look. This is the textbook. So that was the yeah. workbook. This uh -huh. is the textbook. Yep. And there. Okay, here's your science kit. What do we have in here? Uh, ooh, this looks kind of neat. I don't neat. know what that is. Sealed up. You must have to do some experiments because oh. there's a set of goggles yeah. in here. And some clay. I really hope I get to. See? You get clay, goggles, and, and a magnifying uh, glass. Yeah. We'll have to see what kind of projects you're doing. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go with math now. All right. There's a lot of math stuff in here. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay. Again, the learning coach book. It's always the boring bullet points. Boring. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and show them these? All right. These two. Well, this one is the Envision Math. Let me try and open this here. It's thin, so I couldn't get it. There. What is this? This is um, this is called student lessons. So these are almost like homework pages. So you usually have one with each math lesson. And this is also an Envision math workbook. There. Okay. And then we remember this, right? Oh yeah. I had to do lots of this stuff. Look how thick it is. It's a big book, isn't it? Yeah. So there. Yep. On each side, there are two pages. And this, it's just one page, but you fold them over. And there are them on both of the sides. So, so you like, tear the page out, and yeah. then you fold it over. And yeah. that's your lesson. Yeah, so like on every single page little part, it's the math. Yes. This is vision. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is what? your math kit. Oh. Go ahead and show oh, them kind I, of that, what's in I, there. I see this. Um, this is what you count with. This is, I guess, something you count by tens. 
Mm -hmm. What else? Hold on. Oh, There's a couple other yeah. things in there. There's see. some play money, some little coins to count with, yeah. and a clock. So you're going to learn some more about time this year, and you're going to be counting money. And some cubes I see are in here. Okay. All right. Then you got these. Yeah. I think they just those? learn you their shapes. Yes. This is pattern blocks, and so she's going to be learning about what shapes you can put together to make other shapes. Yeah. Those there. All right. That you what can is tell this? is my art kit because I saw those paint parts. Now, there are the colored pencils, clay, um, paint brushes here. Looks like instructions there. And like, I can't really see. You don't know what's in here. Is. Okay. Looks like construction paper and a couple sketch pads. So she's got the paint, the colored pencils, paint brushes, construction paper, sketch pads, it's crayons. So lots That's of it. lots of art. So all right, set yeah. that one down on the floor. All right. Well, all right. Done here. We're. This looks like something for your headsets. It's an adapter for your headsets if you need it. Yeah. So you can put it down there. And last but not least. Oh, the CDs. Yes. Um, What's the CD? It's a yoga and there's a jump rope. Uh-huh. Yep. And uh, what's this? This is, it, it just says health and phys ed kit. So for health and phys ed, you get the yoga CD. You don't have to do yoga. Um, you can do your own if you're involved in a sports program or um, say you go to a gym membership, something like that. You can use that for your phys ed requirements. But they give you the yoga in case you can't get out and do that. And this is the last thing you can write stuff down and send it to your teacher. This is in case you turn in your portfolios offline. So if you do your art or any of your papers you have to write and you want to mail it into your teacher, you can do that. We always turn everything in online. You can just scan it or do it on the computer and email it to your teacher. All right. That's it for me. That's it. Next right. is, who's next? Isaac? Isaac. Isaac will be next, and he's fifth grade. I'm second, so I'm in fifth grade. So, see what I got. Oh, welcome guide right here. Well, if everyone gets that, here's the adapter. It is for these microphone or headset or headset. Goes there. Now, um, there's some reading. So this book, Harriet the Spy. Looking forward to reading go. that. And uh, Child Times. I think that's what it's called. I've never heard of it. And. Now, for language, I was reading. Here is the learning key for the learning coach. It's pretty thick. Tells her all of the lessons that, or the, the guidelines for the lessons and the answers. The grammar and writing book. Language arts also. Looks like there might be a couple more. Yeah, so... Word study and spelling practice book. I remember this one. I used to had, or I had one of these things last year. See, just showing you a couple of pages there. Is that? And oh, two more books. Man, some of these things are heavy. So there's the Reading Street textbook. Here, I'll show it. Reading Street. Here's some of the inside. There you go. There's another practice book. This one's a little thicker. Yeah. Same kind of thing as the other practice book. Now, for science, there's a big learning key. For the learning coaches, reading and writing workbook for science. 
over here. Here, you want to show them this one? Okay. There's the inside. Just show you a couple pages real quick. And fix that. There the main go. science textbook. Ooh, this one's heavy. <sighs> All right, and the kit for science. That one's the pretty thick. Science kit. Yeah, let's look. It has a compass. Cylinder, modeling clay, a couple other things, magnets, that kind of stuff. There's that one over there. Oh, yeah. All right. And, oh, art. This is the only thing, I believe, for art. Let's see what comes in this art kit. Paint brushes, uh, just the main art set, some drawing paper. All right, what else is over here? So, that's it for art. Health, yoga kind of stuff. See there in the back, there's a DVD teaches you yoga, and it has a jump rope in there too. So it's kind of like last year. Okay, now moving on to social studies. Here is the answer key workbook. This one Real I quick remember. Inside. Set this one right here. Ooh. Social studies textbook. This one's pretty big, just like last year. And now, I believe it's the yep last subject, math. Math kit comes with uh, looks like some cubes, some fake money in there, and there's a couple of other things. There's some dice. Well, that's supposed to be used for that. Math key. Wow. That one's a thick one. Giant interactive homework workbook right there. Yep. Kind of like this stuff from at least um, third to fourth grade. Some of the stuff doesn't even. Uh, the books are the same, so what am I thinking? All right, well, there's the math textbook. It's got just the regular stuff. And the very last thing, there are the envelopes to send your portfolios out. Now, I don't do that. I'm, I, um, I send them in online. So she can see them online. That's it for me. Okay, so I'm in eighth grade this year. Let's see what I got. I've got the envelopes. Everyone, every student gets those. I've got the this headset. Where's that adapter? Here's the adapter for it. For the headset. Um, I've got that welcome magazine. And I've got two uh, books that I have to read and do a biography kind of thing on. That's what I that's what I did last year, so I'm guessing the same thing. One? The Giver is that one. This one's Johnny Freeman. So there's just a bunch of words. No, it's it's a nine picture book. Yeah. That's what I call uh, it. Okay, I've got Common Core Literature. Okay, there's some of the inside there's, yeah, that just, oh, what's that? I think that was mentioning cowboys down there. That's oh, pretty thank cool. you, ma'am. That's probably a story. Okay. Here's this. What's that? Um, sure. American history. So, topic three assessment. This, this um, looks pretty cool. It, on the front, it shows, uh, I forget what they're called, but four heads of the presidents in Washington, I think it is. I forget what it's called. So, oh. and my Common Core Mathematics book, he can show you that. I've got a whole bunch of math problems in there. So, oh man, I'd hate to be him. I don't hate to be him. So much math. Okay, I've got my science kit. Can't tell what's in there because my packing list is all folded up. Uh. So, like I'll just guess. 
Uh, there's a funnel. There's some testing tubes. Oh, there's some safety glasses. Looks like clay. Safety glass stuff. And safety glasses. That looks. That looks about it. Um. Had to check. Now it's my art kit. So I've got a drawing paper pad, uh, some paint, an eraser, oil pastels, drawing pencils, and some paint brushes. So that's it for mine. So look looks like I've got the least amount of stuff. All, a lot of mine's, my stuff is probably going to be online. That's it guys for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know if you guys have any other questions on Connections Academy. Yep, so that's it. Leave us a comment as well if you want to hear some updates on how the school year is going this year. We can give you those. Let us know in the comments below. And I guess I was wrong, but now bye. See you guys See later. Ya. Have a good school year. He's got a big piece of food in his teeth he needs to get out. Austin does. Pee -pee.